गुड मॉर्निंग व्यूअर दिन दस यार यार सब ब्रेकिंग न्यूज़ यस लेबरन बेस एज बोल रहा हूँ व्हिच इस रजिस्टिंग द इस्ट्रेलिया अटैक ऑन गाजा आफ्टर हमास एस्ट्रोल्ड ऑन अक्टूबर सेवेन लास्ट ईयर आज रिपोर्टेडली फायर डोजन्स ऑफ मिसाइल्स ऑन नॉर्थन इज़राइल रिपोर्ट सेड एडिंग दूरवर्ड Silence blew during the incident, triggered by both the rocket launches and the falling debris from interception attempts. The Lebanese militant group has claimed responsibility for the rocket barrage on the Galilee Panhandle as per Times of Israel. Hezbollah in a statement said that Katausa rockets targeted IDF artillery positions, however, no casualties or injuries have been reported as of now. This development comes amid Israel-Iran tensions in the aftermath of the Israeli strikes on the Iranian embassy in Syria, which drew a strong response from Tehran. The Israeli Defense Forces reportedly said that nearly 40 rockets were launched from Lebanon towards northern Israel. Some of these rockets, as per IDF, were successfully intercepted. However, a few others landed in open areas or fell within Lebanon's territory. Prior to this, the IDF had announced that air defenses had throttled two drones carrying explosives launched by Hezbollah towards northern Israel. IDF claimed to have hit buildings under use by the militant groups in southern Lebanon's Ayasa Asa Sahab as per report. Speaking over the threat of Iranian attack on Israel, IDF spokesman Rear Adam Daniel Hagari said that an assessment has already been done. We had a joint assessment of the situation to ensure that our coordination is tight. Hagari said of coordination with United States Central Command, Head General Michael Eric Kurlia. As far as updates for civilians is concerned, Hagari said if there are any changes, we will update the public immediately. Being this exclusive report.